so if that's something you want to see and if you want to like you know know why i've been gone for so long and what i've been doing just say so okay you guys so i'm back with my hair or whatever so i'm gonna do my makeup now and this is just gonna be like something that like i do like because i don't make up like that no more so but i still got that touch you know so i'm gonna be doing my makeup and i'm gonna be what i'm using so this is the ace beauty bronze in paradise palette my old friend gave me this. so let's start on the fucking makeup okay so um excuse my little dirty thing y'all so dirty um but yeah um i would say oh so i'm just gonna be answering like any questions that like people want to know about me but don't know um so one of my biggest fears one of my biggest fears would be um not succeeding in life because like i hold myself to like such a high standard so like regardless i'm gonna succeed but you know you always have that fear in the back of your head that you're not gonna succeed and that things are just not gonna work so that's definitely a fear of mine but yeah you know it comes with the territory of like being a boss and becoming a boss or whatever because like one thing i can't say about myself is that like I'm very hardworking, like, I'm very, like, determined, and then, like, I realized, and then, like, I've realized that, like, when you grow, like, people are not gonna fuck with, like, I mean, not fuck with you, people are not gonna, like, do for you, like, you really have to do for yourself, because nobody's gonna do anything. that, like, um, I have realized very much over the years, it's like, nobody's gonna do anything for you, nobody's gonna help you with any fucking thing, like, you have to do everything that you have to do for you and only you because nobody's gonna take care of you like you could be outside homeless on the street you think them people gonna give a fuck about you like when they're riding by in their cars and like when they're going like and eating at fancy places and things like that baby them people don't give a damn so like i definitely have to realize that like regardless i can't let myself fall off because nobody's gonna do nothing for me like baby i'm very capable and i'm going to do whatever i need to do to get where i'm trying to go and will go so girl um yeah that's definitely something i realized becoming an, an adult and just life in general people are, are not going to do for you and i don't i mean it's okay to a certain extent because we all need like that hustle and that grind within us. But it is definitely some people in this world that will look at people that's like really struggling and very homeless and just things like that and they will they'll just continue to like this they'll just continue with their life, their day, whatever. And I don't understand that but because I don't have I don't have a heart like that, like I could never just like be so selfish to people that's also my problem i don't know how to i don't know how to put myself first and i need to start because nobody's gonna like if i don't do it for me nobody will so i had to realize that but yeah that's like something girl i'm just talking at this point i don't know my eyebrows really have me out of focus because bitch, I'm trying to get these motherfuckers right. Oh my god, excuse my language, y'all. I don't cuss like this on a daily. Even though I do be cussing. But not this bad. Uh so like um uh, let's talk about dating. Or well, not dating, but like um uh, some of the things that like happens in like love and like the dating world or whatever so like what's like a deal breaker for y'all i feel like a deal breaker for me is anybody that has a child <laughs> like i don't want god to humble me at all 
Like, I never want God to humble me. God, please don't humble me. <laughs> but I don't want to deal with anybody who has a child. Like, I don't want to deal with people who have others. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with anybody who's created a life outside of me with somebody else. Like, that's like a no, that's like a no-go or no-brainer for me. Like, I don't want to be with anybody who's already created themselves a family or anything like that. Because I just, I don't know, I don't want to be a part of things like that. Like, I hold myself to, like, such a high standard. Like, I don't mind being with somebody who's already created and established something with someone else before me. So, yeah, that's like a deal breaker. I don't want to reward anybody. Who has baby mama drama and I shouldn't have to and I shouldn't want to anyways because honestly um I'm young as fuck and like I'm I have so much going I don't want to be with anybody like that but yeah that's um uh, that's a deal breaker for me it's like a man with a child and a baby mama things like that I don't want that shit around me at all so I mean it do be some fine baby daddies, but I don't want to use that as nigga anyways. So fuck no. <laughs> that one's out the window. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's like a deal breaker. And men who are disrespectful. Like if you don't respect anybody or if you're like super like aggressive and controlling, you cannot be my man. I don't want anybody who tries to control me or tell me what to do or what to wear. You have to get the fuck on with that. Oh, let me stop pressing so much. You have to get on with that because I do not want nobody trying to control me. No, I'm not your child. <laughs> you better go control somebody else, not me. Because, baby, you cannot control me. I don't care. I don't care what you think. You better not try to control me, boy, because I'm going to run. run so far from, your, from a person if they try to control me. Like, uh-uh, because, like, they be, y'all know how they be saying leave us be, <laughs> y'all know how they say leave us be friends with everybody. Well, baby, if he looks good, I'm not gonna flirt with him, but I might compliment him if he talks to me and he compliments me and, or whatever. I'm the type to just be like, oh, you fine, like, oh, you, you pressure, and I don't need no man, like, <laughs> I don't need no man <laughs> trying to fight me for like telling me what I what I shouldn't be doing. Even though that's cute sometimes, it's kind of funny. I'll be laughing, but I still be like, "Nigga, you bugging? Get like, that bag. I'm not your child, baby." So yeah, I don't like controlling men at all. Don't want one. But sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's fine when they put you in your place. I'll be like, "Ooh." Okay, okay. Talk that shit, Zaddy. <laughs> you be like, talk that shit, Zaddy. Okay. But yeah. I don't want no control of me. Um, what else is a deal breaker for me? Oh, why do I keep trying to do that? Another deal breaker is another deal breaker is um men who are too like um too out there i don't want a man in everybody's face baby if you're in another woman's face you definitely gotta get the fuck on like i know i said i'd be flirting but it's dudes who be like bogus as hell like they be like hoes like they be trying to fuck with everybody in every girl's face and that's a no for me I don't, like that's literally a no for me okay so now I'm gonna go in with my MAC concealer oh and um and my brush I'm gonna get new makeup I always be saying that but like I'm definitely going makeup shopping very very soon because I still have the same products but I haven't did my makeup in so long so that's that with that and I have this little hair right here but yeah, I'm gonna be getting like new makeup very soon, so y'all can have like a a new like makeup tutorial type thing that I'll be doing soon. Um, 
let's see what's one of my biggest fears one of my biggest fears um i'm very like i can get scared easily like i don't know if things start with me like when people when people like um like try to scare me that scares me so bad because i'm like why are you well when people just walk up on me i'll be like dude what the fuck like get back like i get scared very easily i get very startled easily i think i would say and um and that does not do, do well with like having anxiety because i do have anxiety too so Uh, one of my biggest fears would be like oh i'm saying all this to say because i'm very like a nervous like kind of scary scared person when it comes to situations that i can't control or situations where like i can't control but i don't know what i'm exactly doing like say for instance driving i'm very very scared like when it comes to driving like i i kind of know how to drive well but not really like I press the gas a little too hard and things like that so that's that startles me and like that scares me really bad because like I'm like okay what if I get in a crash or something like what if, what if I die god forbid but I be thinking things like that so like that's like something that like you know like I'm very like scared of like because I don't know what if like one day you like I just lose control and like don't know what the fuck I'm doing and like something bad happens so that's why, like, that's that's one of my biggest fears, like, driving, like, and I don't really know what I'm doing. So driving is one of my biggest fears when I, when I don't know what I'm doing or, like, when I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing because you never know what could happen. So that's something that, like, startles me very well. I mean, not very well, very much. Um, swimming, I cannot swim. For, girl, that's so embarrassing. But I cannot fucking swim at all. <laughs> I can't swim and I never knew how to. Like that scares me. Like that's one of my biggest fears is like drowning. Cause I can't swim, baby. And I'm not gonna act like I know how to because I don't. So swimming is one of my biggest fears, like drowning and like not knowing how to swim. That's one. Um what's another biggest fear of mine? Uh losing losing my loved ones. I love my family so much. Even though we've been through a lot together, I love my family. Like, they are my, like, they're, like, the closest people to me. And, like, nobody knows me like my family knows me. So, I love my family so much. Like, it would break my heart if anything. It would more than break my heart. Like, bitch, I would be, like, <laughs> I don't think about that, but God forbid. But I love my family. So, you know, everybody doesn't want to, like, nothing ever bad or horrible happen to their family. So. That's a big sphere of mine. Um, let's see. What else could I answer that y'all don't know about me? Um, I'm very shy, even though I act like I'm very, like, well, not act because I'm, there's very many layers to me, but I can be a very shy person. But I can be very introverted and very, like, just to myself. Especially if I don't know you. But I'm I'm definitely like a lit ass person. Like I'm very like like I'm very nice. I'm very like friendly. I'm very like outgoing. When I wanna be outgoing. Like I'm introverted but I'm extroverted at the same time. So I'm a I'm a shy person. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a shy person, but it takes just a while to get to know me. Uh, and um I'm very cautious when I know when I'm meeting people or like not not like very cautious but like i be reading people like like this i be reading people i'll be like you know you can just look at somebody and read them and you're just like oh you're not my vibe like i can read people's vibe and like their energy and i'm just like is this person my vibe and if they aren't then i'm just like okay i don't want to fuck with this person i don't want to be around them type shit so i'm very good at reading people i'm very good at discerning things and discerning, discerning people's energy and like their intentions towards me so that's something that's like that I'm very good at um I keep saying um because I, I don't have like a list 
Well, I have a list on my phone that where I can answer questions, but I haven't looked at it in a while. So, I'm just going off the top of my head. Sorry if that's annoying to y'all. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go in with the, the Ace Beauty Paradise, and, I mean, Bronson Paradise Palette. I think this is a brown palette or a contour, but I'm just going to use it for, for um, my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go in with this color right here. So, um, oh, I hope y'all can see me. I think you can. Uh, when it comes to, like, making, like, well, meeting new people and, like, oh, shit, let me just set my eyes. What am I doing? When it comes to meeting new people, that's where I can get kind of iffy, but not really. I love I love people like with good vibes. Like I'm such a vibey type person. Like I have to see if your vibe is good for me to continue to talk to you or fuck with you. Let me stop kissing. <laughs> like to talk to you or like just hang out with you and stuff like that. But I love people. I love interacting with people. Like I'm so goofy, and I love that about myself. I'm so like. I'm so like, what's up? Like, hey, you a vibe? Like, I fuck with you. Like, I'm I'm such like that type of person. And so once I catch like somebody's vibe, tight. So I definitely love that about myself. I'm very like welcoming. Like when it comes to new people, I'm not like a, a mean like bitchy like catty type girl. That's that's never been me. Never been a jealous type either. I, I clap for everyone. I, I um I give everybody props. And like like I'm just like a very like supportive girl. Like I'm a girl's girl. And like any just just anybody with like good ass vibes and like bro, I fuck with you. I fuck with your energy, I fuck with what you doing, like I fuck with the movement you got going on, like I'm just like keep doing your shit, like keep keep doing that shit, like I fuck with you. What that take? What that take? Say, uh, what do you say? He said, "I love you, boy." <laughs> and keep God in your life. But <laughs> that's me, I swear. I'm like, yes, keep doing your shit. Keep popping your shit, man. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like I'm a very like just like down to earth person, and people can like judge you. Like, I noticed that people will judge you before they know you. Like, don't judge me just because you see my, my appearance, my face, and you think, like, I'm just this person because, baby, once you catch these vibes, you ain't gonna wanna leave. Once you catch who I am as a person, you're gonna be like, oh, for real, is that say less. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. I'm gonna keep it like this. That's so pretty. I wonder should I do eyeliner? I don't know. But yeah, I'm such a girl's girl. Uh, I wanna answer about friendships. I wanna talk about friendships. Not answer. I wanna talk about friendships. Because that's something that like you like astrology i love astrology i'm such an astrology girl like i love astrology i feel like that's another way where you can like really know who, who, who like how a person is kind of in a way i wouldn't say that like i wouldn't say like oh you do this for me because of zodiac sign because it's kind of ignorant but it's so fun some of that stuff does apply to you like, you'll be like damn that kind of really doesn't describe me so my moon my sun sign is libra my moon sign is Pisces. I'm a Pisces moon. And my rising is Capricorn. Rising. A Libra sun and a Pisces moon. 
and I have a Leo Venus and a Sagittarius Mars. So I'm really just like that girl, like top tier, chef's kiss. I'm that, I'm that B. I'm that girl, honey. Let me see. Oh, but what are y'all's, um, what is your sun, moon, and rising? Y'all know how dudes are like, oh, I don't like that stuff. They be intrigued as fuck. <laughs> they be so intrigued. They be acting like they don't like it. But they really do. Because they. I feel like guys like when, when women are like very like inspecting them and like studying them and like trying to figure out who they are as a person or as a man. I feel like they be like, Shadi, why you trying to be like that, Shadi? Hey, why you trying to be out of my... <laughs> but I feel like they like it though. So it's cute when I be like, boy, you like this. Stop acting like you don't. That's enough. Mad psychic. Very hella pigmented or whatever. I'm just gonna buff this out a little bit because I don't want it. I don't want to have it too. I don't want it to look too pretty. This is actually very pretty right now. I'm surprised. Uh. to lose this color too much. Oh yeah, but anyways, I want you guys to drop me like things, like topics and like videos and things you want me to like discuss or whatever. Because I really want to talk about things that like people are like or just people things people don't talk about do y'all believe in um like soul connection because i definitely do i believe in like the twin flames that soul mates the kindred spirits i believe in stuff like that like it's so lit to me because you be like when you like look back you be like oh my god i encountered that person for this particular reason and so i'm always like oh like that was so lit to like experience that was like so lit to like just like experience that person and like love them and like be next to them and just like overall just like know who they are as a person you know it's just it's a good feeling to know you, that you didn't come into this world like just by yourself. Like there's so many people who you've connected with that you don't even know where supposed you were supposed to meet or like you were destined like to encounter and like share like a love with or like share like memories with and like just like like y'all have so much or like you have so much and you're like bro you really my person like you really like my love like you really like you really like that person for me so. I, I love love too like it's so beautiful like to like see people like in love and like happy and just being together and like putting like um what do you call it like choosing you over anybody over other people like that's just your person like you know like that's just your person so that's always so good to me I'm like that's so beautiful to look to see and to witness and to experience I'm always like oh Even though I'm still single. Oh, excuse me. I hope I get married one day. I pray I get married because I'm the I'm definitely a wife. Like you know how when you just know your wife and you like just like like you just that girl, like you just that like person, like you just like you everything, like you the whole package. So I definitely wanna be married one day. I definitely wanna I don't wanna have kids. I don't wanna say that. I don't though, but like I don't want kids. But you know how they say God will humble you. So I need to just be quiet on that part. But yeah, I don't want those. I don't want those little things. They are cute though. Um this year though, I really wanna just focus on me and my journey, my self love journey. And be I just wanna become finer. 
been so successful, like very successful, very, I just want to make myself more proud of myself because I've accomplished so much and just this like short amount of time and these like, these months that have come, like I've just, I've accomplished a lot and I want to continue to do that because I am going to. I like to challenge myself too. Okay, but anyways, y'all, yeah, so I don't know if I want to do an eyeliner. I think I'll do just like a, a tiny coat. Okay, so I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I'm just gonna do like a very, very thin coat. Okay. I'm so scared because this is so pretty. I don't know, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I got these lashes. I got these lashes from the beauty supply store and I have more but I haven't even tried to wear these yet I'm gonna try these out of these two I want to try these ones let's see if they're cute or not if they're cute all oh baby mm. y'all finna get a whole little, good looking little thumbnail oh yeah and subscribe I mean um of course subscribe and turn on both post notifications to my channel but also Follow me on Instagram because I have I don't post a lot like I don't take pictures that much don't know why because I'm very beautiful but I need to start and that's another thing I want to do this year post more get out more things like that but um my Instagram is Monica Riley M O N I C A R I L E E L L E I that's my Instagram and my, I don't have Snapchat so I just have YouTube and Instagram. So, yeah, I like the look of these. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these. I know how they do it. Make it look cute. Um. So yeah, subscribe to my channel. Follow, subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on my social medias. I'll put them on the screen so you can follow me. I really, I don't like Twitter. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like Twitter. I have a Facebook, but girl, that's for like hometown shit. I don't, I don't wanna put my entrepreneurial things on. Um, uh, I don't wanna put things like that on I don't know I'm just so like eh, about Facebook but it's I do be on there though I'm not gonna lie y'all it'd be funny on Facebook who still be on Facebook because I know I do I've been on there since like so long y'all remember when we used to be saying time awesome um vamping <laughs> we used to be talking about some damn vamping that's how you know you like getting older Put my lashes on. I gotta bend these things because they be. I do not want my shit to be looking stiff. Just bend them like this. So you can fit my eye. I want to try and cut these. I'm not going to do that because that's going to probably mess it up to make it look ugly. I'll be using this glue. Who don't? Because I know I do. I do. Oh, also, I'm going to be doing a clothing haul very soon, so you guys stay tuned. Mm, yeah. I'm going to come back when my makeup is finished. Well, I'm going to show you all my face products real quick. Um... I, am, I don't know what my putty primer is, so that's the only thing. Okay, so I'm using the Fit Me Foundation in 330 Toffee Caramel. So this is the Fit Me Foundation I'm using this time. And then, y'all know I got my OG uh, bronzer, pat, pat, uh, little contour palette. And I'm just going to be using like different things. So I'll come back when my makeup is done and I'll. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look. I'm finally done with my makeup. I'm done. So if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video at all. So, um, yeah, thank you girls and guys for watching. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos because I have a try-on haul coming soon. So just make sure you stay tuned. And